Yo, what up YouTube? Today I want to answer one of the questions I get asked most frequently and that is, what is the best low budget video camera for beginners? Now I personally started with the Canon T3i over five years ago and would still recommend this as a great starter camera. If I were a beginner in 2017, I'd probably buy the Canon SL2. And I've actually been recommending this camera to beginners since it came out a few months ago, but I have to admit I've never actually used it. So I went ahead and bought one so that I could back up my recommendation with some personal experience. And just FYI guys, this video isn't sponsored by Canon. I just genuinely like their products. And I'll be giving a few reasons why I like their products in this video. And make sure to stick around to the very end of this video to find out how to enter to win this exact kit as I will be giving one away for Christmas. So why do I recommend the SL2 as a great beginner video camera? Reason number one is the price. At just $500 for the body only, I think it's about as cheap as you can get a quality DSLR are any cheaper than this and you might as well use the camera on your smartphone and for just $600 you can get the camera and the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens which is what I have here so super affordable to get started reason number two is that it is small and lightweight this claims to be the smallest lightest DSLR on the market weighing in at just one pound body only here it is stacked up next to my Canon 5d mark 3 for reference so at such a small size this is great for anyone of any age to easily handle reason number three is the great in-camera colors. For those of you wondering why I don't recommend Sony or Panasonic cameras, they also make great DSLRs, but I personally love the colors that Canon cameras produce straight out of camera. And for beginners who don't know very well how to color correct, Canon makes it easy to achieve beautiful, natural looking colors without any post-processing. Reason number four is the dual pixel autofocus. This means that it has great in-video autofocusing, so you can always keep your subjects in focus. Other manufacturers do have autofocusing, but I believe that Canon has the best system on the market. Be aware though that the autofocus on this camera isn't going to be as good as the more expensive Canon cameras like the 5D Mark IV or the 1DX Mark II, but for such a cheap camera, it works pretty dang well, and having autofocus definitely makes filming easier for a beginner. Reason number five is that it films in 1080p at 60 frames per second. What that means is you can shoot full slow motion video at full HD resolution, and I'm personally a slow motion snob, so I think it's huge to be able to shoot slow-mo at 1080p. Reason number six is the external microphone jack. When looking for a video camera, I recommend getting one that has the ability to plug in an external microphone so you can capture more professional audio. A lot of cheap DSLRs won't have this option, so you're stuck with the in-camera audio, which isn't going to sound as professional. And then number seven is the flip touch screen. Again, this is a feature that none of my other expensive cameras have that I wish they did, is the ability to flip the screen around if I want to film myself and it also has the ability to touch to focus. For my tutorials that I film with the 1DX Mark II, I actually have to use an external monitor to be able to see what I'm filming so it definitely saves money to be able to flip your screen around. And this also makes it a great vlogging camera as most vloggers want to be able to see themselves while they're filming themselves. So there you have it, those are the main reasons why I recommend this camera for beginners. But let's now go out in the field and see how this footage actually looks. And in the spirit of shooting as low budget as possible. We won't use any stabilizers except for a $17 tripod. Everything else will be handheld. We'll also use a $27 Tackstar microphone for audio along with a $22 DeWise Lav microphone for our voiceover and a $25 five-in-one reflector. So we've kept everything super cheap so that you can know that you can achieve great results even with the lowest end gear. And you guys can see a full list of all the gear that I recommend and where to buy it by visiting kit.com slash Parker Walbeck, link in the description below. But let's now take this camera out for a spin and see how she does. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Oh. All right, you guys will feel like going here. All right, so right away, we are utilizing the flip screen here. All right, you ready, Dal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good try. Okay. These are just brand new Oakleys, they don't matter. Looks pretty sick. I want to try strike a pose. Okay, strike a pose. We got here our rug slider. Check 
check it out. No, I, I, I remember the day uh, specifically because it was the day my father actually left us. I was uh, five years old and you can imagine uh, uh, the emotions that went through my head as the only masculine figure in my life left. He goes outside, I ran for him as his car drove away and uh, I actually tripped over this thing in our yard. It was our neighbors. I looked down and there it was. It was uh, this circular, beautiful, shimmering hula hoop. I don't know, I, I don't know what the connection was in my mind, but when I tripped into it, I felt like I fell into a comfort circle. And that's what it's been for me ever since. It's just been a comfort um, that, you know, I've never let go of, and I never will. I don't think I ever will. I know, right? Pretty epic stuff right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that fun little edit. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the performance of the Canon SL2. However, a few drawbacks to be aware of that I faced while shooting. The kit lens can only go down to an f4, and if zoomed in all the way, an f5.6, which means I can't get that super shallow depth of field that I usually like to use in my videos. If you want a shallow depth of field, you're gonna have to invest in a nicer lens than this kit lens. But something I did like about the kit lens was the image stabilization so I was able to shoot the whole scene handheld without it looking too shaky. Another drawback would be the battery life. We shot this whole video within about three hours but had to recharge our one battery after about two hours of shooting so I'd recommend buying more batteries if you want to be able to shoot for a longer period of time. But other than that it lived up to my expectations and I can confidently recommend this camera backed now by my personal experience using it. And as a big thanks to all of you who watch my videos and to everyone who's joined the full-time filmmaker program you all make it possible for me to do what I love for a living so in the spirit of Christmas I'm going to be giving away this same Canon SL2 kit that you saw me shoot with so if you'd like to enter to win go follow my Instagram at full-time filmmaker and tag three friends in my latest posts that you think would also be interested in winning this camera I'll be announcing the winner on December 18th so that way we can get this shipped out before Christmas so stay tuned to my social media channels to find out if you are the lucky winner. But that's it for my review on what I think is the best video camera for beginners. Also, I talk about this often, but buying the right gear is just step one of hundreds of steps to creating cinematic video. So if you guys would like to learn how to actually use the gear well, make sure to check out fulltimefilmmaker.com where I teach everything you need to know about how to make money making videos, link in the description. And lastly, big thanks once again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. They are an all-in-one website designed platform whom I have personally used and can highly recommend. They have tons of professional looking templates helping you build a professional site for your business in no time. And you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com and if you end up liking it make sure to use coupon code PARKER to get 10% off your first purchase. But that's it guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and check out my free one hour filmmaking training right over there and if you have any further questions please let me know.